what it do good morning to you this is your boy kqkc boxing network first of all before i get into this video i must i must say thank you to all my supporters to all my subscribers to everyone that shows up for my show that shows up in the chat always showing your presence always showing your patience and always giving your comments and i thank you i thank you because the way i look at things i met with 2000 subscribers it's not how many subscribers you have it's the quality of subscribers and i have great quality subscribers right now i don't care if i go any further i'm happy with who i have now and i mean this i love you i love you in the sense of being you because that's what my platform is all about being you able to speak your voice without getting blocked without getting timed out you see, we all, we all can agree to disagree. And one more thing before this video. I want to pray, first of all, for the Floyd family. I want to pray for Chris Jornet family, his father. Hell, I want to pray for, I want to pray for Chris Jornet. I want to pray for ABN, formerly known as Dark Vader. Lord Sweat, I want to pray for him. Clubber Lane, pray for him. See, these people lost Punch Out TV, who lost his father. And like I told you, I don't know how it feels to lose a father. I don't know how. It feels ever father on the sick or dying bed. But my prayers go out to you. And keep this in mind before this video. When the prayers go up, your blessings, goddammit, gonna come down. Trust me on that. KQKC is with you. Side by side. We are men. We are a family. We are as one. And God damn it, I'm going to be there for you through thick or thin. If I can help you in any type of way, reach out to me. Now, let's talk about it. Floyd Joy Mayweather Jr. might bit off more than he could motherfucking chew. Because Javante Davis, days might be numbered. Days might be numbered at Floyd Mayweather Promotions. That's right. Javante Tank Davis. Now, reportedly, isn't happy with his promoter Floyd Mayweather right now. Suddenly, taking an interest in training his rival, Devin Haney, who has signed with Mastron Boxing. Now, if this is a ploy, by Mayweather to get a uh, 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 Tank to take care of his career more seriously which Tank said he was going to do it could backfire on his dumb ass instead of it being motivating to Tank it might push him away resulting in the Baltimore native moving on when his contract will expires with that said, it's possible that Tank will move on anyway. You can't argue, you can't argue that Tank has outgrown the small Mayweather Promotion Company. Keep in mind, Mayweather Promotions never had a license for three or four years. And nobody even know that. I mean, I knew it, but most of boxing fans didn't know that. That's why they had to co-promote. 
they had to use someone else's license to promote. That's why they had to go on someone else's banner. But now they have their license and now they can put on shows, which they have, but they were very small shows with very unknown uh -uh, uh -uh, um, prospects. Not contenders, prospects. It's a difference. Now, Meanwhile, the promotions a, a, a needs a more significant company now to guide his career. They need someone. And Al Heyman, he said he's going to let Floyd run his company the way he wants to run it. So, in other words, Al Heyman is out of it. If you fail, you fail. If you succeed, you succeeded. Now, we all know what Floyd did for the Floyd family. And I commend him on that. I told you that in my last video. And please, share my videos. My views that went down on my videos, which is okay. I don't care if I just reach one person. But I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Share the videos. Maybe, just maybe one person might be enlightened by it. But uh, back to the video. The WBA light champ, light lightweight champion, Javante Davis. He's 23 and 0 with 22 KOs. Responded and said that he won't be training in Las Vegas no more. Tank, who is 25, has taken some heat for twice missing weight. For his fights against um, Gamboa and damn was Francisco, Francesco, as well as his um, new hobby of uh, you know he's he's into motorcycles now. I ride a motorcycle. Now I haven't rode it yet this year because been cold in a motherfucker here in Chicago, and I don't like that wind and shit. You know, I don't ride with a helmet. Now, anyway. Some believe that Tank Davis lacks the dedication to train year round. I have said that. He's a great fighter, but outside the ring, he had a habit of being a follower besides a motherfucking leader. It is what it is, people. See, on the flip side, Devin Haney trains all the time. We discussed this yesterday. Oh, we discussed how Javante Davis is irresponsible. How Javante Davis is a street motherfucker. But today is a new day for Tank. He cleared the house. He have a new foundation on life. And I have to commend him on that. But one thing that Floyd Mayweather Jr. He made a difference. He made a difference in saying that David Hayne trains all the time. And he's dedicated. He's also someone that Mayweather knows well. I said that. Because he's been around his gym since he was a kid. Just like Javante Davis. Now you saw the pictures. You saw how big his head was. That's why they call him Tank. He was around Cabin Ford Gym in Baltimore. The DMB baby. You see? Now at this point. It's not looking good for Mayweather Promotions. That they only star they got, really. Because Badu Jack is pretty much awesome motherfucking leak. Jay and I love is motherfucking a bomb. E. Shea Smith is a motherfucking kiss ass. Without a title, without a fight, without a career. Hell, Nate sitting there holding the, uh, 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 the punching bag. 
And that's all he's doing. He's a fucking drunk. Who called Earl Spencer drunk? You the biggest drunk. Floyd had to get your ass out the gutter. That's what Mayweather Promotions is. It's a bunch of misfits. It's the dog pound. But I have to remind you once again, Floyd showed that he has a heart and that he's human by paying for the memorial services and the funeral services. Like I said, he's making the Floyd family just a little bit happier. Lifting they load just a little bit more due to the death of their loved one. So I say to you, my people, I say to you, my subscribers, I say to you, this U.S. motherfucking A, it's time for these boxers to step the fuck up. It's time for these boxers to fight the best in the division. Jose Ramirez, he's talking shit now. Now, it's okay to talk trash, but... It's okay also to back that shit up. And I'm not talking about trash talk like Ryan fucking Garcia. Now what he said, that was no of him. He with his black brothers and sisters, which is pretty much propaganda. Oscar probably said him to say that. But if you with us, you would tell your promoter to fire that motherfucker that talked about black people. And didn't apologize. And Oscar hasn't apologized. So if you with us, then be with us all the way. Don't be with us when something happens. Be with us all the way. So, therefore, stay tuned today at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. KQKC will discuss this more. I am KQ. KC Boxing Network. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe right now. And please share this video. You don't know how hard it is for creators to do their research, to get their shit together before they go live. And I do it every motherfucking day, six days a week. The seventh day, I'm on someone else's channel. But my love go out to every creator in the LWC or elsewhere. Because this is a difficult task. You have to make sure your computer is running right. You got to make sure everything is lined up right. You got to make sure your stream keys are correct if you're using another software it takes a lot but again I come on Monday through Friday at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time Friday mornings uh, Saturday mornings I'm sorry I come on at 10 30 a.m. Central Time and Sunday mornings I'm at Fanai International Boxing Channel. It's called OG Boxing Talk. 45 and older. If you'd like to join us, you are truly welcome. You have Fanai as your host. You have your truly as your co-host. Along with Drew Titan. Along with Junior the Truth. Along with Kurt Anderson. Along with Blood Boxing. Oh, we doing our thing. That's one thing I can say. Boxing ain't dead. Boxing is well alive. ESPN just came out with a lined up that include Shakira Stevenson. He came out with a lined up to telling you that boxing is back well and alive. Oh, I can't wait till that day come. I can call my first fight once again. But during this pandemic, you have been 
Good to boxing right now. That's one thing you can say about KQ and KC boxing. I never wavered. Boxing was there for me, and I'm gonna be there for it. And with that, that's all I have. And I will see you today at one o'clock. But keep this in mind before you subscribe. I ain't gonna tell your ass what you wanna hear. I'm gonna tell your ass what you need to hear. I'm on to the next one. Peace and love.